Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, f off. I'm sacrificing a dish towel. Balanced on a pole, poked in the ground. Move your ass, Eddie. Move your bum. Just wait a minute, mate. A pole in the deck. And a can of multi-purpose primer. That's the first coat of primer done. Looks fucking awesome now, does it? I've got some padding going on. I've been using this stuff that I got from packaging, from things from eBay and Amazon and st stuff like that. And I've been cutting it to shapes, taping it up with some of this tape. This is, this is an amazing, right? Let me tell you this. Look at that fly, can you hear that? Get out of here. Get out of here. That's a, that was a wee wasp. Mate, that'll sting you. You don't want that one. I've been packing it in to shape the shape of my head. Well, to fit the shape of my head. But I've been wondering because on my Stormtrooper helmet, I have padding here on the cheeks so it fits you snugly on the cheeks, it fits you around the head and on the cheeks and nobody could see that because it's a Stormtrooper helmet. But there's a big opening here and there's two big openings here and here so I've been thinking how do I pad that without people being able to see and I know you could see that so shut up right. I already have a way of dealing with that, but I didn't want big chunks of foam poking through, well, being able to see visible through the mouth holes and the eye holes. And then I just thought, just by chance, I thought, can I get away with padding the bottom of this for the chin area? And so I, I, I've already tested this. <laughs> this bit's gonna go, wait a second, yeah, it's gonna go in that way. I'm going to shape it, this is just a tester, but I'm going to shape it so it fits in with that. But just that bit alone, through the head and the, the chin, because my chin's getting supported by that bit. That, just that enough is to support the whole thing. It's fucking amazing. Completely supported. And I could talk in it. I just have a chin strap now or a chin, a chin foam. So this works. I just realized I don't even need to trim this to the shape but because all these are, they've just been held on by stupid little sticky back plastic, just the cheap stuff. So I could peel all that off again because I'm going to put the spray glue on these and glue them on properly. So when I put glue on this and then squish it in, Look, that's going to hold there, so I don't need to worry about sh shaping it. My chin, <laughs> just the pressure of my chin alone, in there. Yeah, that's enough. And these gaps here, I'm just going to cut out little triangles of them, and then just fill the gaps. You get me? Because I want them to keep their shape, I put tape on there like the rest of them. I put tape on them, I was going to put tape on it anyway to hold paint. But to keep the shape, put tape on there, still got the stupid double sided tape to hold it down. But I'm going to give this a layer of that. A layer of that. That's me happy with all the padding now. Everything's all shaped the way it should be. But I'm going to wait to stick it down with this now instead of glue. It's too windy outside to be using glue. This is supposed to hang fucking door hooks, coat hooks up to 125 kilogram per roll. 125 kilogram. Multi-purpose. It's going to take a whole bunch of coats. And probably two or three of these. I made one of these for the eyeballs. Look. Show you there. Look. It's going to go in there like that. It's made out of some wire 
and some tights, some semi-opaque tights, and because they were semi-opaque, I had to cut a, a layer off, so it's just one layer now. I stabbed the scissors through there and had to use tent repair tape to stop it from fraying any further. But you won't see that because I made it wider than the eye socket, so it stands out further away from the face, because I want to still give the hollow feeling of, like, the head's hollow. You get me? Right, so I'll show you how I made this then. Because of how soft the wire is, I did three loops. So that's the second one done. You could probably tell that it's harder to see through that than it is that one. But I'm not finished with this. Well, the second one's only halfway done. I still got to stitch it. So when I cut out one of the halves, when I cut out one of the layers, that doesn't ping all over the place. I'm doubling back halfway and then doing another centimeter. Double back halfway. Do another centimeter. Double back halfway. And then do that all the way around the fucking thing. This is the tricky part because I fucking stabbed through the other side trying to do that bit. So I've got to separate them now. Here we go. Right, which side do I want? I want to keep that side. I want to keep that side because there's less wrinkles there, even though you'll no, you'll no see the wrinkles because the eye socket's smaller than that. But there's more wrinkles on that side. I've definitely... <laughs> Definitely separated this. Right. There we go. Now I just need to cut that out like what I did there, but without stabbing it this time. Slowly work my way around. Carefully. Very, very carefully. Two eyeball covers that you can definitely see through. I've cut three strips of black fabric to line this. But do a spray spray glue in there and make a fucking mess. Or do a spray them first and then put them in there and then get them stuck on all the other sides while I try and put them in. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to spray, because the spray glue will go everywhere. I would have to mask off everything I didn't. That's time consuming. This is taking long enough. <laughs> so, three strips. Let's go and spray them then. Three to five minutes. Yeah, it's no sticky anymore. Three to five minutes. And that was just to let the, the stuff evaporate. Shit balls, fuck shit. I've got an idea. Double sided tape. Because I'm only going to be lining the padding. This bit that's all white. Doesn't really make any difference because I'm still covering the eyes with black panels. I just want this part to be dark. So anyway, sticky back plastic. And I'm just going to line right along the length of the padding. And use that just to hold the end on. I hope. And when they're all on, spray that bastard with glue. So I've put a line of sticky back plastic around just the top. I just want to hold the edge in place. Just hold the edge in place. There goes something. I've just lined the bits that were padded. I know nobody's going to ever see any of this. You see this bit of glue that's dried in yellow there? I fucking got one bit of glue on it, did I? So I'm going to give that a quick spray, even though nobody's going to see that, although they might see a wee bit of there. Because the, the eye covers are wider than the eyes. Deliberately, so you can still see a bit of the white, so it still looks hollow. So I'm going to give that a quick spray. 
and then just a wee fucking bit on the nose, look, I must have dropped it or knocked it over or something. Get this without spraying the fucking lining that I just done. Gentle wee sprays, so it comes out quite thick. Just a tiny wee press on the nozzle. Right. I'm not running. I don't give a fuck if it runs on the inside, just hide the yellow. I've been playing about with the eye. I've held it in place with a, just a couple of wee bits well, sticky back plastic. I just haven't pulled the other side of the sticky thing. I'm happy with the position of that. Remember, I accidentally stabbed a wee hole in it. Well, I put a uh, tent repair tape on it, and then I coloured it in with a Sharpie. It's in there somewhere, you can't see it. And you kind of want to hide these wee wrinkles as well, because I noticed at certain angles you could still see these wee wrinkles. So I've played about with that as much as I can to get it fitting exactly where I want it and hide the wee things. How do I secure it? Like, I want to put hot glue, just a couple of wee dots of hot glue on the inside, but... Ah, well, I was about to say, hot glue might melt these. Fuck it, there's only one way to find out. But before we hot glue it, let's get the other one fitted. So I kind of just played around with it till the, like, the wee creases was hidden so I'm just going to copy that angle like just hide that hide the creases down in that corner like what I did with that one there's no wee patch to hide but I think that's it I'm just going to secure that well secure that hold that temporarily in place with the wee bit of tape right. that kind of looks like it's sitting the same even if it's just a few a few millimeters off nobody's going to tell let me heat up the hot glue gun and then see if it melts i'll test a wee bit of on a, a separate piece you heat up let's see so here's a wee bit of hot glue come out you till i put you on here well if you ask me, that looks like that's going to work. That's going to work. So I guess now it's just a case of holding down, <laughs> holding down wee bits. Right. I'm just going to let that cool down. I'm not sure if you got any of that because the fucking battery on this thing died, but I tested the hot glue on, on the tights. It worked. It didn't melt them. So. Put a wee dot of hot glue there and I held that in place until the hot glue dried and I'm going to do that all the way around the thing. I don't think I'll need to do it all the way, well I won't be able to do it there because that's an overlap but still I'm going to secure it down as much as I can and get rid of this double sided tape. But yeah that's it so hot glue just you'll know you'll know yourself how much is enough. Don't do too much because you don't want it the hot glue pouring all over your eye patch because you will see it. Mm, that shit will be seen. So hide it well. While I'm waiting for the hot glue to dry, I'll show you this. It it was a hooded a hooded mask. It had a big fucking hood like the Grim Reaper. I cut that off because I don't need that. These taily bits, they're going to get cut off as well. So that'll help blacken everything out on the inside. Blacken everything out on the inside. There's a song in there, Sam. <laughs> I know you're thinking, Jack Skeleton doesn't have a, a black neck. He has a white neck. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to get one of those all-in-one fucking uh, morph suits, the body morph suits, and then stitch this to the head area of it and then just cut it off there so it's just the neck showing below the neckline. Yeah. <clears throat> if you can find a hood or a black mask, just anything to cover your face. Go for it. There's a lot of black masks on eBay you can buy for 25 quid. Uh, 25 quid. 40 pounds for a pack of 25 gimp masks. But I didn't need 25 gimp masks, I didn't even need one gimp mask. <laughs> I've got plenty. I'm trying to get the right amount of light to show you one last look at the inside. I've just put spots of hot glue around areas that I could manage to get the hot glue on and I 
held this thing down because it, it wants because it's got a metal frame in, the, in those eye socket things it wants to keep popping up but the hot glue seems to be doing the trick it's not quite dry that bit there yet ugly bit of padding but I'm pretty sure you'll do a better job got fucking glue everywhere and be careful when you're using hot glue because that burns when you get it on your fingers I don't know if I want to paint this bit black or keep it white I think I might just keep it white like the bit on the inside there the padding <laughs> holds my chin my chin my chin pad and I want to get like a piece of white felt just to cover that up because I know that looks fucking horrible but a piece of white felt will cover that and it'll take the glare off it people won't notice it they'll notice that more than they'll notice that there's a piece of white felt I've made a whole bunch of Jack Skellington's heads before made little lamps and stuff little candle lamps and that but this is probably the coolest Jack Skeleton I've made so far. Well, I can't end the video without showing you the thing on. See, this is why I'm wearing the black mask, so you can't see my face through the teeth hole. And I'm thinking I'm gonna cut a wee hole in here and stitch it so it doesn't fray, like stitch around the hole. So I've got an opening for a straw to drink things or poke a tiny sausage roll through there apart. I could see from there, it's kind of like the Stormtrooper helmet, you can't see below the, uh, like, yeah, so, I could see, <laughs> this is, this is where my eye is, my eyes are here, so I could kind of half see there, I could see a lot of shit going on there, and through the mouth hole, I could see where my feet are, and it, so I could pretty much wander about without bumping into things, wearing a Stormtrooper helmet, you don't have the fucking, the opening here, so you have to walk about with your head like that all the time so you can see where you're going. Now this whole thing kind of symbolises my life. I had no fucking idea what I was doing, didn't have a fucking clue, but I wanted to do something, started the project, fucking bumped into a little hurdles along the way, but I learned how to deal with those problems and I moved on, and I ended up with this fantastic looking piece. But honestly, I love it. I love it that much. I genuinely have the post-production, post-production, I have the post-project blues kicking in. Because it's finished now. Game over. Ah, no it's not. Now I need to go and doctor a suit so it looks like Jack Skellington's suit. All is not done. There might actually be a part three to this. So yeah, crack on with making your own then. You'll probably find a, find a couple of ways to do what I did. A wee bit better and a wee bit easier, or a hell of a lot better and a hell of a lot easier. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, you motherfuckers. I'll see you in the comments. Ooh, what is this? What is this?